All right, Thomas, you look at a rat versus a squirrel. They're both rodents, they're both pests, both got furry brown coats, beady black eyes, two little buck teeth, I mean, they're the same thing. There's just one difference. Squirrel's got a bushy tail. That tail is all that separates a rat from a squirrel. Okay, so you're walking through Grant Park and you got one of those little subs from Potbellies, but you see a squirrel over by the fountain, he looks hungry, so you throw him a piece. Eats it up all cute, goes back up into his tree, happy day. Okay, now change that squirrel to a rat. You're basically leaving the park and never coming back, am I right? The rat is the filthy, disgusting, disease-ridden, plague-carrying scum of the earth, and as far as I can tell, it's the difference of a goddamn bushy tail. Now look at our own society, the homeless versus those who aren't. Why do we treat them as the filthy, disgusting, disease-ridden, plague-carrying scum of the earth? Is it because they are, or is it the difference of a bushy tail? I don't know the answer to that, but I think it's definitely something worth thinking about, man. I think it's definitely something worth thinking about. Yeah. Well, the squirrels are up in the trees, you know. It's not just the bushy tail, they're just cleaner. How is that any different from us up in our goddamn skyscrapers? We're cleaner up in our man-made trees. It's the same thing, man. Okay, so it's the same thing. I still don't get the point of this analogy. I mean, I don't want homeless people in my neighborhood, same as I wouldn't want rats in my neighborhood. I mean, do you want rats in our parks? Squirrels can carry rabies. People can carry rabies. But I think it's a lot more freaking likely that the homeless guy living among the rats in the garbage is going to be the one to have it. Do you think they choose to live in garbage? I think they have a choice. They could get a job. They're stuck like that, man. You think if I go apply for a job at Walmart smelling like raw sewage with no college education, no high school diploma, no prior job experience, no address, no phone to contact me on, wearing the same clothes I've been wearing for the past damn year, do you think I'm gonna get that job? No, nor should you. And how am I, the homeless person, gonna turn that around? They have shelters. There's ways out. By law of nature, if a rat is born a rat, it will forever be a rat. Nothing will ever change that fact. No matter how much a rat may want to become a squirrel, it will never happen. But that's not true for people. A person isn't created to be homeless. He makes that for himself. And that can change. In some cases, radically so. Right. That's the difference between us and animals. My point is, if you could change all the rats in this city to squirrels, wouldn't you? I mean, yeah, there'd be a hell of a lot of squirrels, but the alternative is a lot of rats. Of course I would. I hate rats. Okay, well knowing that we have the ability to change something for the better, why do we sit back and let these homeless rats crawl around the city, living out of the garbage, harassing us for money, when we could do something about it? There doesn't have to be any homeless people in this city, but instead of doing something about our own brothers out there, we're more worried about saving a chicken from being eaten or what celebrities smoking dope these days. That's what's wrong with society, man. <laughs> so essentially, steal from the rich and give to the poor. Sounds like some red commie shit to me. Nah, man, not the rich. The idiots at PETA can pay to save people instead of animals. I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Watch the Discovery Channel sometime. Animals eat other animals. What in the hell is the difference if I put you in a cage or on a pillow if I'm eating you for dinner either way? You're a real radical thinker, Brian. The world's not ready for you. It literally makes me sick to my stomach knowing that there are so many problems in the world that are fixable today that I will simply just never see fixed in my lifetime. Don't lose too much sleep over it. It's not as easy in execution as it is in conception. Yeah, yeah, and nothing important ever is. Doesn't mean we shouldn't be trying. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Shit. My car's getting towed. I gotta take care of this, dude. Oh, good luck, man. All right, bye. Take it easy.
Here you go, sir. Oh, come on, man. You got more in there. Uh, okay. um, everything else is just pennies, okay? Uh, light screen, I really gotta get going, okay? Oh, come on, I, I can see you got more in there. It's just pennies, okay? What do you need those pennies for? I really gotta get going, okay? Hey there, I would like to make a donation, please. Thank you, sure. <laughs> the City Rescue Mission? Yes, it is. And today is the 19th. All right. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for supporting our mission. Not a problem, thank you. You're welcome, have a good evening. Why do we treat them as the filthy, disgusting, disease-ridden, plague-carrying scum of the earth? Is it because they are? Or is it the difference of a bushy tail?